Hello from welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. So guys, in the last episode, we went through the tech cave and we finally have arrived at the terminal that will teleport me to the final boss. So um, we did lose the Deodon. Uh, well, we didn't actually lose it. It was kind of stuck uh, in the beginning, so I just left it there. So we don't have a healer. So um, yeah, this might go wrong or this might go um, just fine. I don't know. But anyway... Let us activate the teleporter. Uh, that will take a minute. And, um... Yeah, this is gonna be the Gamma Overseer, obviously. Because it's all green and shit. Um, hopefully I can uh, I can do this, guys. Hopefully I can do this without a healer. Alright, there we go, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, we managed to get them all in here. Whoa, that looks weird. Okay, so, first of all, as you can see, we have uh, some things over here. I do want to go through this area a little bit slower. But this is the uh, Brute Mother Arena. And uh, I guess this is uh, where it lives. Don't see it, though. Then we have, of course, the dragon. It, it does look different than uh, in uh, Ark Survival Evolved, though. Yeah, interesting. Interesting, interesting. And then, of course, over here we have the Megapithecus. Now, I do believe there should be a note somewhere, right? Over here, or is that somewhere else? I'm not entirely sure, but... There we go. So, is this like a terminal to... Like, activate... The boss or something like to spawn it in or something i don't know interesting all right so uh once again i have to set up a train again so that we can get to the final boss okay so we have over here uh well earth basically i'm not entirely sure what's going on there but Okay. Let's check over here. Oh, there we go. An explore note. Well, this is from uh, Mei Yin, I don't believe. But that one isn't voiced over yet. Okay, we, be, we do see like two holograms or something. That's kind of weird. So that's a Megalania. Then we have the uh, Mesopithecus, right? Mesopithecus. Nice. Oh, an Ovis. There we go. Ovis. Very nice. Okay. There we go. Let's uh Let's make a big train. Come on. Move. There we go. Okay, so that is one, two, three. One more. Okay. Man, solo, this is really tedious solo, I must say, like, like having this uh, to do every time and shit, it's, it's, yeah, it's not fun. There we go. Okay, so that is, uh, our first group. Oh, I'm a really, oh, I don't know, but I'm really getting nervous right now. I don't know why. This, this actually, this should be fine, to be honest. Okay. Another area. Another earth. I think it's like messed up, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we do have another note here. Rockwell. In all my life, I have never seen so magnificent a sight. Mr. Nerva may be bemoaning the loss of his men, but I would sacrifice them a thousand times over to witness such majesty. I have never seen a night sky so beautiful. Somehow, this place looks down upon the world from on high, as though it stands upon the peak of Olympus itself. And my word, the exquisite metal this place is made out of. Not to mention that bizarre creature. It reminds me of the material that lines the obelisks, yet somehow more... alive. 
The very walls of this place seem to hum with power and possibility. I must find more information on this material. Perhaps one of these consoles will have something I could use. I'm not familiar with the technology, but I'm sure a scientist of my caliber could get something out of them with a little educated fiddling. Hmm, right. Right, okay. Can you, uh... Yes, thank you. Now, from what I also remember, is that when you defeat the final boss, you have to put your items inside of your racks, because your body is sort of uploaded into the system when you defeat the boss. So you will lose all your items on you. So make sure you basically put your items in one of your creatures, because the creatures will be spawned outside of the... Uh, Outside of the cave, or the tech cave, so to speak. Okay, there we go. Oh, a red rock. Nice. Down there is uh, is the island. There's the green obelisk. Over there we have uh, the red one. And then right over there we have the blue one. Oh, I thought I could walk off. <laughs> that, would, that would actually be it. terrible. All right, there's another note. Well, I'm not dead. And as it turns out, neither was Mei Yin. In fact, it was her who freed me and insisted we follow Nerva through the portal in the cave. A horrifying scene awaited us. All of Nerva's men lay dead amongst the shards of a mysterious metal, but Nerva's body was missing. Forgetting my present company, I suggested a peaceful approach if we encountered him. That earned me one hell of a knockout punch. When I came to, I searched the whole station, but the only signs of Mei Yin and Nerva were a few ounces of dry blood. No bodies, and no victor. There, floating outside the window and surrounded by machinery, was the very island that I had been living on. And it too was orbiting high above the Earth along with countless other stations just like it. The ecosystem on the island wasn't just curated. It was completely artificial from the ground up. What in the hell is all of this? Why would anyone construct it and how could they have possibly kept it hidden from the world? I don't have the answers to any of these questions or the dozens of others that keep popping into my head. But somehow, I mean to find out. Right. Somehow, I'll find the truth. Yeah. So everything on the island is fake, basically. The lore of this game is insane, by the way. I really, really like it. It's uh, it's actually something that could be sort of real, which is weird, you know? Okay, I am actually getting thirsty, so we need to hurry up a little bit. But yeah, that is the, uh, that is the... Well, I would almost see this as a spaceship, but I don't think this is a spaceship, right? It's like... I know. I, I, I don't believe it's like a, the control room, right? Alright. Man, I'm losing a lot of food. Uh, next time I will bring more food because... Damn. Alright. Um, let's all... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's all... There we go. Okay, guys. Are you ready? To face the final boss on the Gamma difficulty. This might go wrong, this might go, you know, the correct way, so to speak, by killing the Overseer.
let's actually put everything on neutral as well. Okay. Wait, aren't they not doing anything? Wait, I think I need to do attack my target, right? Ow. Oh, there we go. Ooh, got stunned. Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Why am I... Uh, well, that is not good. That's not good at all. Where's my UT, actually? Oh, I cannot... Oh, I cannot get all my racks for some reason. Because I have no resistance. Okay, well... Uh, five seconds. UT, why... What am I UT doing, by the way? Uh, what's going on there? Are they stuck? Okay. It's not going uh, the right way, to be honest, but you know. I guess they are destroying the units But they are stuck for some reason, I don't know why Okay, that thing is not doing anything Oh, there we go That might... Where's my army? Why... Why do they lose... Uh like aggro and shit. I don't understand why. Whoops. No button. There we go. Guess if I do like this, then they should attack it, right? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the aggro of my Rex and shit. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know why one of my Rex got stuck there. Doesn't make any sense, but okay. It's not even fighting as well, that, that's the weird thing. Okay. Who are we fighting? Is it the dragon? Yeah, okay, this is dangerous. That, uh... That Rex might actually die now. Come on, attack! Oh, the fire. I don't like the fire, guys. We are not... This is actually going kind of shitty, to be honest, not gonna lie. Oh, kill the dragon! Fast! So I wonder if that flame is actually different than the normal one. Well, actually... Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I think we can we can actually do damage right now. It's kind of weird, but it, it does work. Yeah, there we go. See the damage? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm on the red. Oh, well. Oh, I cannot get on my Rex now because I'm stunned for some reason. Oh, there we have the Brute Mother. Okay. Not really where I want to be right now, but there we go. Need to get on my Yuti again. I need to get that buff going. But uh, I guess I can do a little bit of uh, attack damage here. Okay. Okay. I think everyone is quite alright, right? Almost dead to be honest. Oh, the frame up. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, um, I guess my Rex has survived. It's uh, really cold in here, so I need to be careful. But I will keep my healing pots real quick. I guess we did it, guys. That was, uh, yeah, not so difficult. Is this what happiness felt like? Love? No. This is more like pride. Yes, that's it. I'm proud of you, Survivor. You've accomplished what few have. You've ascended. I once did too, when I was her. Helena, she was an explorer too, and like you, she traveled the arts and discovered their secrets. You're following in her footsteps. Keep going. Discover what became of Helena and her friends. Survive the many challenges ahead, and you'll find me here waiting for you. Together, we may yet be able to save our world. We are back on the island. Oh shit, run! That is how Ark starts. If you didn't know that, um, <laughs> this is actually how Ark always starts. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, 
Um, right. We have ascended on gamma difficulty, guys. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny how it starts. Um, right. So we have the gamma implant, as you can see. Uh, gamma Broodmother, Gamma Megapithecus, Gamma Dragon, and Gamma Overseer. Very, very, very nice. Now, one thing that I need to figure out is that I, if am I still part of the tribe? Because that was always a little weird. I have spawned uh, at the um, uh, at the what is it again? Northeast uh, beach, so to speak, the hard zone. So we could get killed actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, now the uh, mission is to get beta done and then alpha. Oh man, that was, um, yeah, that was something, guys, that was something, um, we, uh, yeah, we just have to, um, prepare for beta. Now, the dragon is the one that is, uh, scaring me a little bit, uh, and, yeah, that, that's basically it. Alright, guys, I am back at base, and as you can see, all the rexes and stuff are still green, which means, uh, I haven't been kicked from the tribe, because I do believe in... Arc Survival Evolved, you actually got kicked from the tribe, but maybe that's also because of multiplayer, blah, blah, blah. There's always a difference in a single player and multiplayer. But guys, we have ascended on Gamma difficulty. So now we have to grind, of course, for Beta and then for Alpha. Uh, let's actually see what we have unlocked, right? Uh, we have... Let's see, what did we actually unlock? Wait, we didn't unlock anything? So we didn't unlock the generator, so the teleports are still useless. Huh. I thought you get something from the alpha... Uh, not alpha, gamma overseer. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I guess not. I mean, to be honest, if you do defeat it, you, as you can see over here, gamma overseer plus 5 survival levels means that I can now become 110. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't re really see the benefit in that, but uh, it is what it is. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this series. Now, of course, of course, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to take a little break from ARK. Uh, I might also do some off-screen uh, breeding, mutating, that sort of stuff. Um, now, if you guys have any, well, I wouldn't say challenges because I don't really do challenges. But if you guys want me to do something in these videos, let me know and I will do them probably if they are fun to do. Um, and if not, then I will just... You know, do like focus on mutations and get really, really, really strong uh, rexes and, and that sort of stuff. And uh, then we can do beta and alpha. But guys, thank you so much for everything so far through this series. Uh, thank you all so much for support. The support in on the arc series was insane for me. Like from like forty subscribers to a hundred plus, which is ridiculous. Um, Thank you all so much, and uh, I will of course continue. Now, of course, uh, I'm not just an ARC player, uh, I play other games as well, so leave suggestions in the comments below. Um, I think next up will be Subnautica, uh, although I do have another game that I want to upload, which I actually have done before ARC, but I pushed ARC really hard. Um, but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.